Welcome to our tutorial on tracking equipment with ESC. Tracking equipment in ESC has a multitude of benefits for you and your business. Your technicians will be better prepared for the job ahead of them if they know what equipment they will be servicing. They'll know what size filters or belts they'll need to take with them and if that equipment requires particular tools. You can also use the equipment records stored in ESC to run reports or search for customers who have purchased a particular model or brand. You can then market your services to those particular customers, or even better, market to the customers that do not have a particular brand or piece of equipment. Tracking equipment with ESC also helps you to know if an item is under warranty or if you will be charging for parts and labor. But that's enough of the benefits for now. Let's get to the how-tos. To begin, let's visit the Customer Info menu and select Enter Manufacturer List. This is where you will enter any manufacturer that you may come across. This may be Maytag, Kenmore, GE, Linux, Train, or any other of the numerous available brands on the market today. You don't necessarily have to enter them all right away because you can add to this list anytime you need to. Next, we also need to take a look at equipment types under the customer info menu. Equipment type tells you exactly what that piece of equipment is for. It may be an AC unit, a dishwasher, a water heater, or a pool pump. And finally, we'll head back to the customer info menu one more time and check out the equipment locations list. Locations may vary business to business or even customer to customer, so feel free to add as many as you need. An equipment location may be garage ceiling or under kitchen sink. Again, don't stress about it too much if you aren't sure what to enter for these settings because you can also type them in on an individual piece of equipment if you need to. After all, not all customers are alike and you should not have to add to these lists for every unique customer. Now, let's add a piece of equipment to a customer. We'll need to open the inner customer screen from the customer info menu. Select the customer you'll be adding equipment to and then click on the equipment tab. If there is already a piece of equipment here that you want to make changes to, simply double click on that piece and the edit screen will open. To add a new piece of equipment, click on the add new button on the equipment toolbar. The add equipment screen will first have you choosing the manufacturer and the model of the item that you are adding. Next, you'll select the equipment type. You also have fields for equipment ID, and serial number, which are very similar to each other. The serial number is a number assigned to this particular machine by the manufacturer, while the equipment ID is a number that you assign yourself, much like an asset tag. You can enter a manufacturer code here if one exists, dates for installation, and warranty expiration, and also the location of the item itself. You also have a drop-down for agreement, and in this case, the item is covered under a service agreement. The sort field is a type of tag that allows you to easily select or identify items on an equipment report or list. If an item is in production for several years but keeps the same model number the whole time, you may use the sort field to identify the year that this item was produced so that you'll know what manufacturer revisions it has and what revisions it doesn't. And like all other modules, you'll have a section for entering notes for this particular item. That's not all we offer though. There's a couple more ways that we have made tracking equipment a little bit easier on you. Let's take a look at the Define Custom Fields button at the bottom of the equipment screen. This feature allows you to create your own fields for tracking equipment information. To create a field, simply enter a field label. This will create a free form field in which you can type anything you wish. If you want to make it a drop down list, simply enter your selections in as list items next to the field label, then click Save. These fields that you have created will be available to use in view in the equipment screens, the equipment list view, and on your mobile devices if you have any. Now, sometimes you'll need to open the equipment screen and add equipment information for a customer that did not purchase their equipment from you. However, you shouldn't have to enter equipment for a customer that did purchase their equipment from you. How does that work? Let me show you. First, we'll open our inventory entry screen. Now select an item from your inventory that you want to see appear in the equipment list of any customer that you sell it to. In the General tab, set the Post to Equipment field to Yes. Now click on the Manufacturer tab and enter the equipment information. Now click Save. Let's take a look at how that works. 
When this particular inventory item is added to a sales invoice, you'll see this box appear. Look familiar? It should. This is the Add Equipment screen. Notice that the manufacturer, model, and type are already filled in for you. You'll also notice that the install date and the warranty date are already filled in based on the date of the invoice. You can simply click OK to immediately add this item to the customer's equipment or add further information to it. Once you click OK, the equipment immediately becomes part of the customer's equipment records, so if for any reason you cancel or delete this invoice, you will need to go back and remove the equipment from the inner customer screen. I would like to add that you can also access the Add Equipment screen from various other areas in the program, such as the Equipment tab on the Sales Invoicing screen, the Inner Service Agreement screen, and the Inner Dispatches screen. That's all for our tutorial on tracking equipment in ESC. Thank you for watching.